Tonight, the outrage continues over a Providence teen killed inside his own apartment. Investigators say 14-year-old Joel Figueroa was not the intended target. And the acting police chief says the problem that caused this needs to be stopped. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live in the capital city. A Providence family is still reeling tonight over the murder of a young boy, 14 years old. He's the youngest murder victim in Providence since a two-year-old boy was beaten to death six years ago. Providence's acting police chief diagnosed the problem in one sentence. It's the availability and access to firearms when these youth or these players are involved in a dispute. The latest evidence of Providence's gun problem came early Monday morning, just after midnight. The police say a man with a gun knocked on a door in the Elmwood section of Providence. They say 14-year-old Joel Figueroa was expecting a friend, so he opened the door. The gunman said nothing. His gun did the talking. Joel Figueroa was shot and killed right inside his own home. I agree with the chief. Guns is one thing. You've got to dry that swamp. And it's hot in American reality where 300 million guns float. Joel Figueroa's 17-year-old brother Raymond tells Eyewitness News he, not his younger brother, was the intended target. And why would he be targeting you? I don't know. But you're saying here now that he was targeting you and not your brother Joel? You're yeah. sure of that? Yeah. I'm saying, but and you're sure of that why? This is the 12th murder in Providence this year and the second murder since Saturday. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.